Now to some breaking news. Wall Street took a hit, with all three major indexes finishing the day in the red. The Dow fell more than 400 points after the Labor Department reported a higher-than-expected spike in inflation. The Consumer Price Index for March rose at an annual rate of 3.5 percent, and that is the biggest jump in six months. In tonight's Money Watch, CBS's Jolene Kent shows us how consumers are feeling the pinch. For the third straight month, prices have gone up more than expected, from the rising cost of car insurance and repairs to how much you're paying at the grocery store every week. Do you know how much one of these costs? Two freaking dollars. This was $200. We supposed to skip the power bill this month so we can buy groceries or the mortgage. Before the pandemic, all of these groceries, about 30 items, cost $100 on average. Now, five years later, according to Nielsen IQ, all this costs 33% more, meaning you'd have to skip about 10 items, like chicken, bread, milk, and bananas to make your $100 budget. Five years ago versus today, the difference is remarkable. Is that normal? Oh, goodness, it's not normal at all. So that's why really consumers are really, really scrutinizing their behaviors because, you know, prices are leveling off, but they're leveling off at these record high levels. Higher gas prices and rent also helped push inflation up three and a half percent over the last year. Also more expensive, baby food and formula spiking nearly 10 percent, elder care up over 14 percent and veterinary care jumping almost 10 percent. President Biden responding today. We're better situated than, than we were when we took office, where we, inflation was skyrocketing, and we have a plan to deal with it. But until then, shoppers continue to cut corners where they can. We asked Americans, have you changed your behavior? And 87% of Americans have said yes to that. We may be seeing more, you know, white meat on the barbecue than red meat this um, summer because beef prices have gone up 9%. Everybody's been impacted by this. There's no way you can get around it. The good news here is wage growth last month did outpace inflation, but this March inflation number is the biggest annual jump in six months, and it really makes it very unlikely that the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates anytime soon. Nora? Yeah, many people waiting on that. Jolene Kent, thank you so much.